This is 8.6E. The teeks are, the student is expected to determine the intercepts of graphs of linear functions and zeros of linear functions from graphs, tables, and algebraic representations. Problem number one says, what are the x and y intercepts of the line 10x plus 5y equals 30? To find the y intercept, substitute x equals 0. In order for uh, it to be a y intercept, that means that you didn't get off of the y axis. So x would have to be 0 there because you didn't go left or right. Into the equation and solve it for y. So 10 times 0 plus 5y equals 30. 10 times 0 is 0 plus 5y equals 30. 5y is left on this side equals 30. To get rid of the 5, we divide both sides by 5. So y would equal 6. So the y-intercept in this case would be 6. So again, in order for it to be y-intercept, your x number would have to be 0. To find the x-intercept, you want to substitute y equals 0. For it to be the x-intercept and be on the x-axis, that means you didn't go up or down. And then we want to solve it for x. So 10x plus 5 times 0 equals 30. 10x plus 5 times 0 is 0 equals 30. 10x equals 30, divide by 10 on both sides, so x would equal 3. So your x-intercept would be equal to 3. On problem number 2, what is the x-intercept of the graph of 5x minus y equals 10? We would substitute y equals 0 into the equation and solve it for x. 5x minus y equals 10. If I want to put 0 in there for y, it says 5x minus 0 equals 10. So 0 is gone. 5x equals 10. Divide by 5, x would equal 2. So the x intercept of the graph is at 2. So the graph, the line, crosses the x-axis at 2, 0. Problem number 3. Show two ways to find the y-intercept of the graph y plus 4 equals 2x. Write the equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. My equation y plus 4 equals 2x, we need to get the y by itself. So you subtract 4 from both sides, that leaves you y on this side equals 2x minus 4. Now you've got your slope-intercept form. Remember that the 2 that's right in front of the x, that's your slope number. This negative 4 on the end, that's your y-intercept. So the y-intercept is at negative 4. We can also do the same thing by substituting 0 in for x and solving it for y. So y plus 4 equals 2x, so 2 times 0 is 0. We would subtract 4 from both sides here. And we would get y equals negative 4. So the y-intercept of the graph is going to be at negative 4. The graph crosses the y-axis at 0, negative 4. What are the x and y-intercepts of the line 4x plus 3y equals 24? To find the y-intercept, substitute x equals 0 in the equation and solve it for y. So where the x is, we put a 0. So 4 times 0 plus 3y equals 24. 4 times 0 is 0. So 3y equals 24. Divide both sides by 3. So y would equal 8. So the y-intercept is 8. To find the x-intercept, substitute um, y equals 0 in the equation and solve it for x. So where the y is, we're going to put a 0 in there. 4x plus 0 equals 24, so 4x equals 24, divide by 4, so x equals 6. So the graph crosses the x-axis at 6, 0. Problem number 5, what is the x-intercept of the graph? 2x minus 5y equals 20. Substitute y equals 0 in the equation and solve for x. Put 0 where the y is. So it says 2x minus 5 times 0 is 0, so 2x minus 0 equals 20. 2x equals 20, divide by 2, x equals 10. 
the x-intercept of the graph is going to be 10, so it crosses the x-axis at 10, 0. Show two ways to find the y-intercept of the graph, 7y plus 14 equals 2x. Put it in self-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. The first thing you do is subtract 14 from both sides. That gives me 7y equals 2x minus 14. Divide everything by 7. So y equals 2 sevenths x minus 14 divided by 7 is 2. So the y-intercept is at negative 2. Substitute in x equals 0 and solve it for y. 0 where the x is. 7y plus 14 equals 0. Subtract 14 from both sides. So 7y equals negative 14. Divide both sides by 7. y equals negative 2. So again, the y-intercept is going to be negative 2. The graph crosses the y-axis at 0, negative 2. Find the x and y-intercepts of 3x plus 6y equals 12. To find the x-intercept, substitute in uh, y equals 0 and solve for x. Put a 0 where the y is. 3x plus 0 equals 12. 3x equals 12. Divide by 3, x equals 4. So the graph crosses the x-axis at 4, 0. To find the y-intercept, write it in slope-intercept form. That means we want to get the y by itself. We would subtract 3x from both sides first. I would get 6y equals negative 3x plus 12. Then we divide everything by 6. y equals negative 3 6 is the same thing as negative 1 half x. 12 divided by 6 is 2. The y-intercept is 2, so the graph crosses the y-axis at 0, 2. Or, find the y-intercept by substituting in x equals 0 into the equation. Put a 0 where the x is. I would get 0 plus 6y equals 12. 6y equals 12, divide by 6, and y would be 2. So the y-intercept is at 2, or it crosses the y-axis at 0, 2.